If you're curious about Ballet Conrad's training material, keep watching and I'll show you how I used it in my second week of getting back into shape. Hi, my name is Patricia Deanna and I'm a dancer as well as an instructor who's been learning to retrain myself in ballet with a hyper focus on placement and turnout. To follow along in my journey as I learn to use Ballet Conrad on myself and my students, go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell. So this week I started to add in other exercises such as balto and tondu. So in the previous week, I only focused on demi-plié. What was nice is that I could actually feel that benefit of strength from the demi-plié exercises where I would do between two and four sets every time I worked out. So that was really nice. Um, when I was doing my floor work, I still noticed that I had issues with my shoulders relaxing. So that was very interesting, but at least I can tell now because before I would only see it after I had done the workout and I could see it in the video and I'm like, oh, my shoulders still aren't relaxing. So that was, that was a, a trial. So plies are still hard, but it's a little easier to feel the control over my weight because I can feel the weight in my heels. So I can tell when I'm on one leg more so than the other, a little bit better, not still completely perfect on that, but it's getting better. Um, I can feel when I'm coming up from a plie the hip alignment, although I still have a little bit of a tucking issue. Sometimes my hips go too far forward or not enough flat, um, not enough flatness. So, <laughs> But at least I can go a little bit deeper in my plies without losing the pull-up effect. So once I got into tondu, that's when everything kind of went off the rails. I could see where my weaknesses lie. My butt was overpowering my legs. I couldn't straighten the legs when they're going out to tondu. There was too much weight in the foot. I felt really self-conscious about the turnout and where everything was. I couldn't really control the leg on the way out or the way in. And I just felt like my whole body was shifting and it was a hot mess. <laughs> and I was it was it was frustrating because I, I spent a couple of days doing that until finally I decided to just go ahead and send him some videos so he could help me out because I wasn't able to look at it myself because every time I would watch myself I couldn't correct it and I wonder that anyone else experiences that you can't really correct yourself because you're too busy distracted with other things when you're looking at yourself but anyways he sent back some notes and the first thing he said is that I needed to concentrate more on my floor bar exercises and getting more coordination in my core and also allowing the ribs to relax, which will allow the shoulders to relax, which allows everything else to work in its proper engagement and alignment. The second thing he told me was to completely relax the ribs when I'm standing up in whatever position and just focus on core, butt and legs. So overall, I was really humbled. I mean, doing a, a tondu, one of his tondus is already humbling as it is, but I was, I was humbled to have to like really focus in. For some reason, I forgot that I have not been working out consistently in months, since June. I have not really been consistently working out at all. So I wanted to skip steps and make sure that I felt my lats and it's just not time for that yet. So one of my tips that I can give you is that when you start doing Ballet Conrad, almost at no matter what level, even if you're at a very high professional level in dance, just focus on core butt legs. Just, just focus on those three places at first until you're strong enough and coordinated enough to start adding in the other parts of placement, you know. Obviously you wanna work on keeping your shoulders relaxed the entire time, but it's not important to have ev everything engaged outside of core button legs. Just work on core button legs and you'll be fine. And by the way, I'll leave a link below so that you can try out his online classes too. They're absolutely fabulous. Um, my favorite ones are the master classes where he digs into the uh, details of plies and tondus, you'd be surprised how much information there is about a plie and about a tondu. It's absolutely fascinating. In fact, I would actually recommend that's where you start. 
So if you've made it to this part of the video, I'm guessing that you found some of this information somewhat helpful or maybe you found it entertaining. Either way, let's be friends. Go ahead and subscribe, comment below, share this video if you like, and I'll see you next week for another video. Bye.